I get the third one. I get the middle, the middle movement. Mine is supposed to be about trains. It's supposed to be about about industrialization of Canada. This idea of kind of progressively getting faster and faster and faster until things just kind of spiral out of control. Music, in a lot of ways, is in, intangible. It's hard to actually give a very real, concrete story with the music. So I pretty much abandoned uh, any notion of trying to literally portray a train, or literally portray this idea of a development of, 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 the, of the railroad network. How do you take that idea of industrialization, of this railroad that was, let's say, one single line and then becomes multiple lines over uh, over many years, and how do you how do you kind of translate that concept uh, to music? One of the first stages for this work was coming up with some material that would get faster and faster and faster. So this idea of lines that might be very short and then get longer and longer and longer by the end. So what I've done is I've uh, I've literally taken one line that goes through the whole piece um, and then had it branch out to a second line about halfway through and then to a third line uh, about three quarters of the way through and then a fourth line and then a fifth line and a sixth line. Improvisation was something that um, I did when I was very young. It's it's a very liberating way of creating music. You're not reading a score. You're not you're not um, writing notes on a page. This is something that I, I find um, very cathartic. It's something that um, that I, I just there's a part of me that just loves to go and, and, and pull out my flutes and and to just just improvise. And I find um, improvising and and composing are very similar kinds of processes, but just on a very different time scale. So the, the work that I'm doing for this project is only nine minutes, but of course it's gonna take several months um, to write. Whereas improvising nine minutes of music takes exactly nine minutes. I live in Wolfville, Nova Scotia, in the Maritimes. It's right off of the Bay of Fundy. And it is quite rural as well. I grew up in cities. It took a little bit of adjusting um, when I moved here because I was used to the hustle and bustle of, of living in, in Toronto or in Vancouver or in a bigger city. But, you know, it gives you time to think and gives you time to, to really um, come up with ideas. I don't have a, a commute like you would in the city. I don't uh, have to get on a, on a sky train or on a subway. I don't have to take a car. I don't even have to bike. I can just walk. One great thing about living in, in Wolfville, living in Nova Scotia here, is um, there's lots of great places to walk. Um, and in fact, if, if there's any one thing that was probably the, the, the biggest kind of influence on what I do, it's to go for my walk, to go get a coffee, and then go back to the, the workshop and, and, and to continue composing. My music is pretty eclectic. I think maybe the eclecticism comes from my, my own background of not necessarily kind of knowing where home is. And I've lived in, uh, in the north, I've lived in Texas, <laughs> I've lived in, in London. I think it's a big question that we have to ask ourselves, you know, at least I know I ask myself all the time, you know, where, where, is, where is home and where, where, do you feel, where do you feel the most uh, drawn to.